Now, KLBK's first warning weather with meteorologist Jack Maney. We've had some good weather this week and we're going to continue to see nearly the exact same thing that we've had every single day. Warm but not terribly hot, lots of sunshine, but things are going to start to change in, as we head into that weekend as our first real, I would call it fall style cold front is coming up this weekend. Now right now outside it's comfortable, 66 degrees, west winds of 5 miles per hour, starting to see a little bit of light there on the eastern horizon and not much humidity either, looking at just a 68% relative relative humidity value. That's pretty low for this time of the morning and we're going to continue to see dry air in place today that will keep us fairly comfortable. Shouldn't be able to feel any humidity on the air outside this morning or especially this afternoon. Some low 60s out to the west, mid 60s near the Lubbock area and out to the east in the Rolling Plains, but everybody below 70 degrees right now this morning. Another comfortable morning for some porch sitting or just opening your windows, getting some of that fresh air coming into your into your homes because it is good good conditions outside this morning this afternoon it's going to be almost the exact same as yesterday maybe a tiny bit warmer up to about 91 degrees warm and sunny with winds staying light out of the south southeast about 10 to 15 miles per hour and temperatures will be a little warmer in the rolling plains up to about 95 degrees for folks out by Jayton and Guthrie us here in the hub city making it up to the low 90s and that's about what you can expect if you live in any areas on the cap rock so a good day of weather once once again for the end of this week, our update on the allergy index does show that we have at least brought our tree and grass pollen down a little bit into the moderate category, but still plenty of ragweed pollen out there that's going to be causing quite a few issues for allergy sufferers. So another day you'll definitely need to remember your tissues and also stay stocked up on your allergy medication. So as we go forward into this weekend, things are going to start to get a little bit interesting. You can see way out there to the west, all that humidity there in Southern California, that's the result of her Hurricane K, and that's going to be chunking a little bit of humidity up our way this weekend. The bulk of it will be staying out in California, but at least a little bit will make its way east along this frontal boundary that will be coming in on Saturday, and that should open the door for some showers and thunderstorms to come in starting Saturday during the evening and for a while on Sunday. That front's going to be t slowly approaching throughout the day on Saturday, and it should hold off long enough to... Uh, keep us from having many issues for Texas Tech game day. However, I will mention that a lot of times these forecast models do tend to underestimate how quickly cold fronts can move, so we will at least maintain a little bit of a possibility of a few thunderstorms around late in the game. That kickoff at 3 p.m. tomorrow at the Jones should stay dry for tailgating and through kickoff. By the fourth quarter, there might be a few thunderstorms going on towards the north and west that you might need to keep an eye on, and just in case, a poncho might be a good idea to bring along with you. Temperature is going to be comfortable in the upper to middle 80s throughout the game. Good day for football as long as those storms hold off until later and we'll be keeping those things once we get those storms through here. Nice cold front's going to be coming in as a result of this storm system diving towards the Great Lakes. That will be not giving us an extended period of rainfall or even really as far as the cool down goes. Not going to last very long. High pressure will be back in control over much of the next coming week and that will be keeping us above normal already by just Monday and Tuesday of next week and into the extended period past the end of the seven day forecast. We will be staying probably warm and more on the dry side. But at least we do have that nice cool down coming this weekend. Tomorrow's high of 88 degrees and then Sunday, look at that, 73. We'll be staying mostly socked in with cloud cover and a little bit of light rain, maybe a couple of showers and thunderstorms around on Sunday. Rain chance is still going to be staying lo fairly low at just 30% and the cool down will not last very long. We'll be right back to about 90 degrees by Tuesday. Now